Hi, my name's Kaylee. Welcome to a strength training workout, home workout. Today we're working triceps, hamstrings, and abdominals. I've got a bunch of equipment because in order to really load our muscles with enough resistance to stimulate some muscular hypertrophy, we get to get creative when we're at home. So I've got a couple of big kind of throw pillows. You could use pillows from your bed or your couch. I've got an assortment of dumbbells, and then I actually have uh, two different resistance bands because I want to give myself and you some options. So gather your stuff, grab a drink of water, and meet me when you're ready standing up. Take a moment to really land in your body. Sometimes closing the eyes actually helps, and I know that seems like a silly way to start a strength training workout, but the more connected you are to your body, the more you're effectively and efficiently going to be able to utilize the muscles that we're trying to target. So give yourself a moment, take a breath or two, be lifting your in-breath a little. Yeah, take one more deep breath, fill the belly, fill the chest. And then let's go. If you're not standing up, meet me there. We're gonna start with a little hamstring curl, standing hamstring curl, a little bit of dynamic movement to start to get the blood flowing to the muscles, bring a little bit more oxygen into the body. So you're just lifting one heel toward your glutes and then add a little wide row here just to bring some energy into the upper body. So pulling back, not straining the shoulders, not going for the biggest range of motion possible right now. Just warming up the joints. We've got three quick warm up moves, and then we move right into our circuit. Let's take it into our tricep stretch. So go ahead and reach one arm up over your head, probably familiar with this one. We're gonna take a little mini squat here and then extend one leg out to the side. Come back to your mini squat and then switch, take that other leg out to the side. And if adding that squat and lateral leg lift, is feeling like way more than your body wants or needs or the balance is just really challenged, just stretch through that upper arm, that upper arm's tricep. Big breaths in. Good, last few seconds on this side, breathing deep. And then we're gonna switch out arms. Nice to so release that side, maybe shake it out. And then catch your other tricep. Same thing over here, option to add your mini squat with a lateral leg lift or not. I'm just opening up through those muscle fibers in your triceps. So the way the workout's gonna look is we're gonna do three sets with three exercises, one for each muscle group that we're targeting. Last few seconds here. All right, we're gonna take a knee raise with a little thoracic rotation. So finding that twist, bringing one knee up to your chest and rotating toward that top knee. Keep breathing, deep breaths. Just here for about five more seconds. And then we're working into our first move for the hamstrings. We're going to start laying on the back with the knees bent. If you're familiar with bridge pose, that's where we're headed. So go ahead and meet me. Roll out onto your back with your knees bent. Push into your feet. Give your tailbone a little tuck and then lift the hips up, coming into a bridge. Feel that you're pressing not just straight down with your feet, but energetically, like push through the heels, try and roll back onto your shoulder blades. Don't roll your head into your dumbbells. And then lift one knee toward your chest and switch. Other knee toward your chest. So we're gonna take this marching bridge, dig your heel that's on the ground down. So the muscles that we're targeting are on that lower leg. Don't worry about what's what you're feeling in the upper leg as long as it's not painful or uncomfortable. That upper leg is just supplying your lower leg with some added load for that hamstring muscle group. Push into that bottom heel. Maybe you even lift the toes on that bottom foot so you can keep your feet flexed through this movement. Still taking deep breaths. 
just here for 15 more seconds. So each move we'll do for 60 to 90 seconds, trying to get those muscles close to a point where you can really do a lot more reps. Last four, dig the heels down for three, two, and one. Nice, lower all the way down. We're gonna shift into our first set of abdominals and have you grab um, your cushions. I really want to make like a wedge for the upper body so that you're at an incline. I'm going to tilt this foot up a little bit higher than my bottom one so that my head is elevated more than my hips. Great. Take a big breath in. Maybe even bring your hands. Oh, this feels very comfortable. I hope you've got a nice setup here. Bring your hands to your lower belly. Let the belly relax as you breathe in and then exhale, pull the navel in, pull the hip bones toward each other. Keep the feet and the hips down, but imagine you're trying to elevate your hips there. Bring one knee up and then switch, bring the other knee up. So keep that contraction through your core this whole time. It helps me greatly to bring my hands onto the low belly to feel those abdominals kind of webbing down and in, especially with that out breath, pull in, but see if you can maintain that muscular contraction in your abdominals as you inhale as well. So a little marching dead bug, adding this incline for the spine means that we're not fighting to keep the pelvis in this little tiny tilt, which means that the low back hopefully isn't getting involved, Push the back of your ribs down into the pillow underneath you. Each time we come back to a muscle group, we're going to progress the movement a little bit. This might feel like a great place for me. Honestly, this would be a great place for me to continue to work abdominal strength. So feel free to come back to this. And I may even demo it again instead of sticking with uh, what I have planned next for abdominals when we hit this muscle group. Next time around, last four, three, moving to triceps in two and one. Relax the belly, roll up to seated. Grab one of your resistance bands, move your pillows out of the way, we will need them again. And then come to a half kneeling position. So bring your right foot forward underneath your right knee, left knee is underneath your hip. Right arm is going to start up overhead and then anchor that strap with your left hand somewhere around the middle or lower back. So we want to apply some resistance and then we're just going to tug that band up and resist that band on the way down. We've got 60 seconds on this side to make sure you're working with enough resistance. You see I'm having to kind of choke my hands up that band until I find a little challenge point. Keep anchoring down through the left hand. So make sure your left arm isn't being pulled up as you straighten out at that right elbow. Nice tall spine. Maybe come back to that core activation, drawing the lower abdominals in and up, keeping a lot of space in the lower back. And push into the front foot for a little bit of support and balance. Maybe you're getting a little hip flexor stretch to the front of the left hip as well. So we're trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. And I'm a big believer that that is totally possible, that you do not need to spend hours working out every day. 20 to 40 minutes, most days, hitting that consistently. Over time, that's gonna give you way better results than those long, brutal workouts that I don't know, I'm very reluctant to show up for, so they just don't end up happening. If I know I'm only here for 20 or 30 minutes, I'm in, I'll do it. Take some deep breaths, just five more seconds on this arm and we switch. So hopefully those triceps are starting to feel pretty fatigued and done on that side. Ooh. Right arm gets a break, switch your legs. And then we're gonna switch to that tricep overhead in the left. Once you're ready, go for it. It's taking me a little while to set up and make sure this band feels like I've got the right amount of resistance. And I'm not going to be pulling my hair, getting it stuck in the rubber band here. So you may get some bonus, uh, bonus reps in as I'm struggling to get my setup. Keep going. 
And that might just mean that you finish a little early or you get some extra time on this left arm. Try and initiate this movement at your top elbow. So the uh, shoulder stays pretty still. It's gonna move along with the elbow, but the movement is about the elbow. Bending and straightening, that's what the triceps are helping us do here. One of their main jobs. So you may be done if you got set up <laughs> quicker than I did. I'm gonna keep going. This is my workout for today. So we'll see if I've got maybe 10 to 15 more seconds in this arm before it starts to feel like I really couldn't do a lot more um, quality reps where my form would start to break down or I wouldn't be able to straighten this arm quite as much. Yep, there it is for three. Oh, we're moving back into bridge in two and one. All right, set that resistance band out of your way. You have an option to do that same movement when we hit triceps again, or I'll give you something different next time. So we'll roll that onto your back, just like before, setting up for your bridge. You could take those marching bridges. I'll give you a variation that maybe kicks up the load to the hamstrings a little more. So when you're ready, hips lift, glutes and hamstrings engage, lift your toes, push the heels down, walk the heels inch by inch, further and further away from you until you feel a strain and push the heels down, kind of straighten the legs up, keep the hips lifted, walk the heels in a couple inches and out a couple inches, Ooh, in and out. So little bridge walkouts. If you need a little bit less, but you don't wanna come all the way back to the marching bridge, you might walk the feet in a little closer and maybe you're just working in a smaller range of motion with the heels closer to your bum. Remember, you could be back in your marching bridge, still pushing down and forward through your heels to roll back onto your shoulders. So choose which variation of loading your hamstrings feels like the right move for today. And then really pretty significant effort. So whatever you've got to give, because this is a short workout, don't sell yourself short. We're only here for 40 more seconds. Taking those deep breaths, breathe in all the way down into the belly. So you can relax the abdominals a little bit as you inhale because we're really trying to squeeze through the back body, through the back of the legs. Marching it up, dig the heels down and away, down and away for 15. Push into the heels, roll back a little further into the shoulders if you can. Last four, three, two, and one. Holy smokes. Okay, maybe you windshield wiper the knees out, nice and slow. Let the hamstrings relax. We're shifting back into the abdominals. Remember, you could take it back onto your back with that pillow for your um, dead bug kind of toe tap move. Or I'm gonna have you grab a smaller pillow or a folded blanket and bring it between your knees. Meet me on your hands and your knees here. So shoulders right over your wrist. Give that towel or blanket or a little pillow a squeeze between your thighs, toes are tucked under. Cover your knees up off the mat. Just covering the knees, squeeze the thighs in, tap the knees down, relax the thighs. Lift the knees up, squeeze the thighs into that blanket. Keep going, so a little tap down. Lift and squeeze, tap it down, lift and squeeze. Same activation to the lower abdominals. Tiny tuck to the tailbone. Maybe you pitch the hips a little higher, broaden out through the shoulders. So make some space between the shoulder blades and your upper back. And if this is feeling like too much on the wrists or you're not really connecting to your core here, Take it back onto your back with those pillows, coming back into that variation of a dead butt that we were doing. Inclining the shoulders and the head, pressing the back of your ribs into that pillow, if that's where you're setting up. Otherwise, you're here with me. Squeeze when you lift the knees, relax, and then squeeze when you lift the knees, relax when you lower, squeeze and lift. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
So trusting, one of my main motivators for working out is my mental health. We get this flood of endorphins in the body. Take some bigger breaths. Maybe feel that sense of muscular fatigue starting to set in and know that you're in charge of that, right? That you created that sensation in your body and that you can stop at any time. If your body's done before I say I'm done, you trust that. We always honor that. If you got a little bit more, the muscles in your core are still firing nice and strong. I'm about to lose it here. Take five, Ooh, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Relax the abdominals. We've got another set of triceps coming up. I'm going to offer tricep dips. Not because I especially love this movement from the triceps, but because I really do like it for that extension and opening through the upper back that we create. So if you're meeting me in tricep dips, you can come onto your butt, bring your hands down behind your shoulders with your fingers pointing forward, and then roll the shoulders a couple times. So feel the shoulder blades move away from the spine, around the back, and then feel the shoulder blades squeeze toward the spine, lift the chest. Next time the shoulders are squeezing toward the spine, lifting the chest, walk the heels a little further away, lean it back, keeping the chest nice and tall, and then pushing the heels of your hands to come on up. So a little tricep dip. Option to bring the feet closer, to lift the hips and lower the hips. Maybe to lift one leg and cross that leg over the opposite thigh. So you're getting your figure four stretch at the same time. So we'll just keep that leg the way it is for 30 seconds and then trade. You could come back to those banded tricep extensions in that half kneeling position that we did a few moments ago. It's going to work out great if that's what you choose to do because we've got a halfway point here. Either way, coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. And if you're doing the banded, switch arms. All right, right back into that space, that heat. Option if you've got a little bit more. To straighten the arm quick and then to bend the elbow again slow. So it's a quick straightening at the elbow and then a slow lowering, slow rebending at that elbow. But sometimes it's really helpful to bring that why back to mind when we're working really hard. For me, again, that mental health, that it's not relaxing in the moment, but this is actually one of the best things that I know to do for my nervous system. Ooh. We're just here for five. For you, your why might be something totally different. Place it front and center. Let it be your inspiration. Last two and one. Ooh. All right, shake out the wrists a little. If you were there with me in those dips, relax the shoulders, bring it down a little bit for a second. We've got one more set, all three muscle groups, and then we're cooling down. So last move for the hamstrings, I'm gonna offer a prone hamstring curl with a dumbbell and a prone hamstring curl with a resistance band. Honestly, if I were just working out on my own and I didn't watch the variation, I was feeling plenty back in those bridge walkouts. So that was these ones right here. You could keep the legs straight and really push the heels down and away. Be getting tons of activation for those hamstring muscles. If you want to play with something a little different, I'm going to have you go ahead and take one of your heavier dumbbells, try and set it upright, lay down onto your belly. It's a weird setup. Bring the chest close to the floor. Maybe you relax your head down on your arms or a pillow. Bring that dumbbell right between your feet. Right. Push the pelvis and the pubic bone down. And then bend the knees, bring that dumbbell up oof, toward your bum. Straighten the legs out, lower that dumbbell gently. Just let it kind of kiss the floor and then pull it right back up. So this is your option for your prone hamstring curls. We're gonna take a little bit of time to set it up. If that's feeling great and you wanna stay there, go for it. Remember you could be in those uh, marching bridges or those bridge walkouts. 
Option number two, you can take your resistance band around your feet. We're going to have to just do a one leg at a time situation. Bring that resistance band around the sole of one of your feet. Tuck the toes of that foot that's got the band around the sole of your foot. The other leg has that band around the back of your ankle, right in front of the heel. Bend that knee and then straighten that leg. Same thing, pressing the pubic bone down into the floor. So you're taking this one, I'm gonna give you a halfway point. I'll actually hang out with you here. Nope, kidding. I'm gonna take the dumbbell between my feet. So we're here. This is our longer set. You can switch to a different hamstring movement or take a breather at any point. If you're in those banded single legs, we just got 20 more seconds there before switching to the other side. Keep the breath, keep the inhales nice and big, breathe into the belly, breathe into the chest. If you are on your belly, press the pubic bone down into the floor underneath you. And then squeeze the back of your thighs to lift that dumbbell up toward your bum or to lift the resistance band toward your bum. All right, those of you working that single leg resistance band, switch to the other leg. Oh, this one's tough. So you wanna find that sweet spot where you're really challenging and stimulating the muscles to grow. We're giving them the signal that actually indeed we do want a little bit more hamstring strength. And so giving your body the memo, hey, let's invest some resources into building that hamstring tissue up. Wherever you are, last 10 seconds. Moving into our last set of abs in five, four, three, two, and one. Set that dumbbell down or the resistance band down or relax out of your bridge. Okay, two more exercises to go. Last set of abs and last set of triceps. That's a big heavy weight there. Okay, so for your abdominals, you can come back to either of those two exercises that knees down in your plank position, kneeling plank position, with something between the thighs to squeeze. Tuck the toes under, hover the knees, squeeze the thighs, lower the knees, relax the thighs, hover, squeeze, lower and relax. Keep going if that's feeling like a great place for you to be today. Otherwise, Meet me on your back. I'm going to take these again. Create your little incline for your body. Don't skip the incline. It makes a huge difference in your ability to work on the transverse abdominis and not so much to have that kind of like sometimes we call it a bread loaf situation, which is not actually what we want with those deeper abdominals here. So if you're meeting me on your back, Settle in, take a breath in, let the belly relax. If you're on your hands and your knees, keep going. Exhale, squeeze the connective tissue in the front of your trunk down and together. Like you're knitting the front ribs together, knitting the hip bones together, pulling the pubic bone toward your belly button. All right, bring the right knee up, right foot down, left knee up, left foot down. So one foot stays down in this variation. If this feels real easy to you and you're still managing to connect the back of your ribs to that pillow, no problem. Bring both legs to that tabletop position. Maybe bring your arms out by your side. Whew, press the back of the ribs down into that pillow and then tap one toe and then the other toe. Or maybe you just take a little lowering of that leg. So the key is not the range of motion that you're moving within. The key is the contraction in your abdominals. Just here for 10. Six, maybe you find a challenging spot and squeeze for four, three, two, and one. Relax through the abdominals. Move your pillows out of the way. Meet me on your back with two medium weight dumbbells. So two mid weight. I'm gonna go for eight pounders here. If you're pretty new to resistance training, you might be working with three pounders. 
even one or twos if you happen to have those little little dumbbells. Five pounds, great choice as well. Remember, you can always start with one set of dumbbells and decide that you need something different. So roll it back onto your back, shoulder blades against the mat. We're going to take overhead tricep extensions here. So press those arms straight up, wrists over shoulders. Again, plug the shoulders into the mat and then bend at the elbows, bringing those dumbbells toward your temples. Keep pushing down through your mid back and then straighten the arms. So just focusing again on that movement at the elbow. Shoulders stay heavy on the mat. Squeezing the dumbbell, almost like you want to kind of snap the handle in half here. If you're feeling a lot in the elbows in a way that's kind of uncomfortable, you can reduce the range of motion. So only coming down maybe a third of the way or two thirds of the way. You can also bring the arms forward a little bit. So the wrists, instead of being directly over the shoulders, might be a little closer to the knees. And you may find that that's more comfortable on the elbows. Likewise, if this isn't feeling challenging enough and you don't have a heavier set of dumbbells, you could try a heavier set of dumbbells first. You can move the arms in the opposite direction, right? So the wrists are a little bit toward the back of the mat as opposed to over your shoulders. Ooh, that did it for me. I'm going to go straight perpendicular with the floor. So wrists over shoulders feels good in my body today. Find that challenging point for yourself. If you're there, stay with this full range. If you're not feeling quite like a burn, if you feel like you could do 30 more of these, meet me in a little pulse. So you're going to lower all the way down and then just come up halfway. Lower all the way down. Come up halfway. Keep going in that little pulse. If that's feeling like that's meeting you with what you need, oh my goodness, that's more than I need. Here for 10. You choose what's best for you, do you? For nine, eight, seven, moving slow, six. We're not going for my count, just counting us down, five, four, three, light at the end of the tunnel, two, and one. Ah. Carefully set every bit of equipment out of your way. Meet me on your back if you're not there. Bring your arms to your side as if you were going to do a chest press. So elbows out to about 45 degrees, fingers pointing up toward the ceiling. Push into your elbows, pop up your chest, arch your back, take a big breath in. As you exhale, give your shoulders a hug, reach around your upper body, give yourself a squeeze. Maybe you tuck the tailbone, maybe the hips lift. And then do that again. Elbows go wide, inhale, tail down, pop up the chest. Exhale, reach across, give yourself a hug. Three more like that, breathing in. Find some space around the front ribs and heart breathing out as you hug in toward your chest. Last two. And move at your own pace here. Maybe close the eyes if you haven't or soften the muscles around the eyes. Nice. Go ahead and roll over onto either side. I'm just going to roll toward the screen so you can roll to either side. Bring your bottom arm underneath your head, bend your knees to at least 90, maybe even bring them up closer to your chest. Plug that bottom rib down into the floor and then just circle your top arm. If you've got some weird shoulder stuff going on, bend your elbow. I have weird shoulder stuff going on. All of our bodies have all kinds of little things that they're managing <laughs> beneath the surface. Now you want to support them in doing that. Switch the direction of those circles. So we're never forcing a particular range of motion. Just appreciating whatever movement you have in that top arm, shoulder, elbow, let the wrists and the fingers be loose. Reach the top arm over your head. Just drape it over that upper ear or temple. Keep pressing the bottom side ribs down into the mat and see if you can breathe into the upper side ribs. 
preferentially breathe into that top side of your lungs. And then just switch to the other side. I'm gonna, you can roll over. I'm just gonna switch. Um, so I'm still facing the screen here. Bottom arms supporting your head, knees are bent. And then just move through your top elbow or top arm in whatever way feels good. Giving those muscles the message that it's okay to relax. So that yes, we work them maybe even to the point of fatigue. But that was all about building strength, not burning ourselves out. Switch the direction of those circles. So this cool down is very much about helping reduce the chance of soreness and give your body like a head start on that recovery and repair side of your workout. Go ahead and drape that top arm. Almost forgot this part, feels so good though. Press the bottom rib down, open the top rib up as you inhale, maybe open into that top side of your waist. And when you're ready, we'll roll onto your back. Bend your knees again, and then just tick tock the knees gently side to side, nice and slow. Maybe you nod your chin a couple directions, not a couple directions, a couple inches in the opposite direction of your knees. When you're ready, don't skip this part. Come into Shavasana, just lay all the way down on your back or it feels better for you to roll onto your tummy or your side. Just allowing your muscles to melt, allowing the body to be blanketed in stillness and hopefully a little bit of gratitude. I'm just here for about 30 seconds, really allowing yourself to receive the benefit of your workout today. You can listen for my voice shortly to close. Give yourself this time. We'll stay here just one more moment, but bring your legs together, point your toes forward, reach the arms back up over your head, interlace your fingers, press your palms away from you, big long body stretch, take a breath in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. You can roll to one side of the transition, meeting me in a seat when you're ready. Give yourself a moment, one more moment, just to really thank yourself for taking care of your body. Maybe if you're like me, taking care of your mind or your spirit or your heart, really affirming to yourself that whatever why, whatever intention you had that brought you to your workout today, affirm to yourself that in whatever way makes sense to you, you are successful. You can check that off of your to-do list. You can move on with your day knowing that this one piece went awesome, went just the way it's meant to. Great work. I hope to see you soon. And um, let me know if you have questions, reach out. I'm here for you.